Hey besties, I have done it again. I've came up with another lazy girl, but super cute and super easy wig for you guys. So this is the baseball cat wig. I know y'all have heard it before, y'all have seen it before, but this time it is the versatility of this wig that you are going to fall in love with. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how I go about making my baseball cat wig in all of its versatility, as well as how to style it in multiple ways and we are also going to be talking about how to prep our hair our natural hair for this protective style because you know we have to make sure we protect the hair let's go ahead and jump straight into it the supplies you are going to need is going to be a dome cap i'm starting off with a span cap um, they have mesh dome caps. You just need a cap for wig making. And a lot of the, a lot of beauty supply stores, if they're not selling this item, then you don't need to, they, they not a beauty supply store. But I will leave the link for a majority of the items and supplies used in the description box for you guys. Y'all know I am a fan of gluing a lot of my wigs or crocheting a lot of my wigs. I am not a fan of sewing. I've tried it before. For one, it takes too damn long. I get tired that my knots get all knotted up. My thread gets knotted up. It is just, it is just, I can't, I can't deal with it. And then in the end, a lot of times my thread ends up unraveling anyway. So I definitely prefer the glue on method because it's just like a one and done. I don't have to worry about the glue going anywhere. You make sure you have plenty of T-pins. Whenever I make wigs, I make sure I have plenty of T-pins. For one, I use the T-pins to hold the track down as the glue is drying. That way I don't have to sit and wait for the glue to take hold before I can move on to the next track. So usually as soon as I lay that track down and I T-pin it, I'm moving on to the next track. I'll wait, you know, maybe three or four tracks down the line and I'll go back and pull out the old T-pins. So I leave them in there for at least a good three to five minutes before I remove them. And try to create like a U, a U with our track. So the higher we're going, we're trying to make sure that we keep moving forward to where we end up coming up with a nice horseshoe coming around the crown. Now this is a natural hair channel. So even though I do a bunch of protective styles, we are still gonna talk about our natural hair. There is no point of doing a protective style if you're not protecting your hair. That is the point of a protective style. hair so right now I'm going through my healthy hair journey my big chop journey my on the road to you know down her back hair journey whatever journey you want to call it at this point but I am making sure that I care for my hair any protective style is still going to require attention to your natural hair just because you cover it up out of sight out of mind is not the concept we are going to be using for our natural hair ever in any protective style that we do. So I recently did a wash and go. So I have plenty of products still in here. I did the wash and go probably about three or four days ago. But as you can see, it's getting nice and frizzy again. It's starting to get that big volume and frizz. So I'm just going to add some water because putting a wig on top of this, it's just not going to work at all. And we're just gonna brush it back to try to smooth it out as much as possible. And then I have some got to be. I'm just going to use that for my edges to lay those down nice and smooth. And I'm going in with the glue rather than the spray.
I wanted to have a wig that I could throw on and I could still be like look lazy in it like I could still have like a chill kind of day like a lot of my wigs I have now they're kind of done up and cute like I can't just put it on put those wigs on and just not do my makeup or put those wigs on and just kind of run out the door I need a weekend wig I'm looking for a weekend wig a lot of my wigs are you know going to work going to an event social event um hanging out somewhere i wanted a lazy kind of looking wig like not saying this was lazy you know what it is it's lazy it's cheating but um you know i just wanted something that kind of gave me that lounge laid back look where i'm not trying to look cute i'm just trying to look presentable okay i'm not trying to go out of my way and you know dress up my days where I just want to sit around in a hoodie and some sweats I wanted a hat or a wig that matched that vibe some of my wigs don't match that vibe I feel like if I put it on I'm gonna have to put some eyebrows on that's gonna lead to me having to put some eyeshadow on which is gonna lead to me putting on foundation lips lashes and the whole nine next thing I know I just spent the whole hour getting ready and looking cute when all I wanted to do was just throw something on to run to the grocery store I don't know if that's just a me problem it probably is but it's okay I'm pretty sure somebody else can relate that sometimes when you throw on a wig you just want something that you can throw on real quick, run to the grocery store, and come back. You don't feel like you're obligated to make the wig look good. Because some of the wigs that I have, like my 13 by 7 laces and some of my headband wigs, like they look so high maintenance, I feel like I need to match the vibe of that wig. I'm pretty sure that's just me, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, <laughs> hey besties, let's go ahead and talk about this. Let's, let's talk about it. Um, my girlfriend originally came to me with the idea of mixing, making a baseball cap wig because her too, she wants a wig that is gives you that low maintenance, it's a chill kind of vibe day. Like we not doing nothing, okay? And she originally made hers and of course when she looked up the tutorial on how to make them a lot of people were using super glue and she made hers and she said that it wasn't hard at all and she brought it over to my house and i'm like looking at it like but i feel it can be better you know like i just feel it can be better so at first i was just gonna go in and cut out the hot glue and just go in with hair glue instead because hair glue is a lot more flexible and that hot glue was just hard to me like it made the hat look hard and kind of lumpy and I wanted something that was going to be a little bit more flexible and fitting for my head. So I was like, well, hey, when, you know, I, I see you did it. I think I'm going to tweak mine a little bit. And I told her I was going to try to do with hair glue instead. I started thinking. My creativity was just like, there's got to be a way for me to incorporate this baseball cap wig and having to be able or being able to wear my head wrap too. And y'all know I love a look that is versatile. I hate a, a wig that is just a one and done. You can't do nothing else with it. I love a look that is versatile. I bought me a bunch of cheap Walmart head, head uh, ball caps for like seven, eight dollars. Of course, y'all know I have a slew of freaking head wraps. I can switch it up from ball cap to hair wrap to a freaking bandana. Like really, the looks are endless with this, and it only took a bundle and a half of some hair, a dome cap. And that was it, and some hair glue. That was legit, that was it for the supply list. So simple, once I lay all that down, I give it a couple of hours to dry, and sweetie, that is it. Like, that is it. That is it. Now, I'm just showing you all the different styles and looks that go with it, and I must say that this will definitely be my go-to look. It's, there is just endless looks for this endless there's so many hats that you can wear you go to a baseball game you got you can go buy your team hat football whatever sports you are into you can buy a hat for that i got mine from walmart dollar tree sells hats boo dollar general sells hats like i mean target if you want to be bougie go to target summertime rolling around so ready for winter to go it has been doing nothing but raining in north carolina while everybody else is getting snow we are getting nothing but freaking rain and it is absolutely disgusting like Texas got snow. Texas 
got snow before we did. I just, I don't understand that mathematics. I don't, I don't understand it. It got like rained on for like 40 days and 40 nights here. Like I legit thought my house was gonna sink into the ground cause the ground was just so freaking wet. Like you went outside to step and your foot would sink into the freaking ground. So I was, I'm like over. I'm over winter. I'm so over winter. I'm gonna I'm go make, go get me one for this freaking beach and I'm gonna have a big old sun, sun hat and I'm gonna be sitting somewhere bougie looking with a freaking grandpa wig on and y'all gonna be thinking like, oh my God, girl, you look so cute. And I'm like, mm, I bet I do. I bet I do. Have you seen the tutorial for this? I'm gonna need you to go see it. So now that I've made this and this is the body wave hair, I am definitely going to be making a whole lot more. I'm gonna make a straight one now. I'm gonna make a curly like jerry curl one. So please stay tuned guys so y'all can catch all of those videos cause they are coming soon. Cause I just like, how, how, how have I not made this sooner? Why? Every time I make a wig, I just be like, sis, what was you sleeping on? What was you sleeping like? What was you waiting on to make this wig? Like, what, what took you so long? Thank you to all of our subscribers. And if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button as well. Comment down below. Let me know some other looks you're thinking of trying with this as well. And if you do create your own baseball cap wig, Tag me, like my gosh. I'm on Instagram, shantae.pompon. And I also had the link for my Instagram in the description box as well. Go ahead and follow sis, cause I would love to see all of y'all beautiful work, all of the DIYs. Y'all know I love a good DIY. And I definitely wanna see what y'all looking like in this wig. Cause I know you gonna love it just as much as I do, honey. Like every Saturday morning, when I need to make a run to Lowe's or Walmart, this is definitely going to be the look definitely going to be the look and you know sweatshirt season is like in it's, it's in season right now we got spring coming up i'm about to go pick me out a couple more sweats so shooting like because now i just feel like i gotta like collectively get this together now like i might have to go buy like a matching like hat and hoodie set at this point like let me go on fashion over real quick because y'all think y'all y'all think i'm playing Y'all think I'm playing. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining us on another tutorial. We will see y'all on another one. Please be safe and be blessed.